So I mentioned in my last Guardians of Ember video that we had planned to do one or two follow-up videos showing the leveling experience and then finally giving my final impressions of the game. The first video we did was a pre-beta look that GameForge sponsored for us with a look at the game before it actually went live, which was pretty cool. This video is a deeper look at more of the game and features content captured during its beta. So, with that in mind, let's Beyblade! Beyblade! Oh, have PTSD from last video? <laughs> yeah, so does my wife. Does anyone else just, like, keep accidentally right-clicking and attacking shit? Because I swear to god, at least once every five minutes I right-click to rotate my screen and end up hitting some random, perhaps innocent little critter next to me. While questing in the open world, you come across quite a large variety of monsters. None more frightening, however, than the traditionally cave-dwelling Zubat. Oh, wow. Uh, it was as if merely mentioning the name, or more so coming into contact, with the flock of Zubats that caused the entire planet to shift and darken. See? Frightening. I feel... Uh, I don't know, I guess a little bad for these poor guys. Like, they're just always getting murdered for existing. One little tip that I have learned in this game thus far is do not skip side quests, regardless of how tedious they are or how vague they are, like this one. Kill an undisclosed number of vultures, then kill Arissa. Uh, Arissa, I mean Atissa. Why Atissa? I, I don't know, I think he still owes me money or something. Or this one. Gather juicy rat meat. How much meat? I don't know, just, you know, estimate, I guess. No, not those rats. Or those rats. Oh god, what the fuck are those? Ew, 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 slime in a sewer. Ew, oh, oh god, no, no, ew, this is gross, I want out. We did finally get to enter our first real dungeon, however, as in deadly bosses, bosses using skills and actually requiring healing and tactics. And, uh, admittedly a lot of time. Seriously, like, just take a moment here and watch our fight versus our very first boss. I timed that. Two whole minutes. Two! Then the monsters go and group up on you like this. Which, you know, it kinda hurts. Boss number two. Two minutes! And more death. This boss though, holy... Man, never has a boss so thoroughly infuriated me to this degree. I mean, we started out alright, got through his first bar of HP, no issue, then he did this huge AoE thing, which... I guess, you know, I, I didn't really know it was an AoE at first, that almost killed me by the time I did finally realize. Okay, so maybe it took a little longer than I would have liked, but I did notice! Then, he just kept chasing me around, throwing down stupid tornadoes everywhere, and apparently he shoots fireballs long range. Then my gear broke, so I was dealing zero damage and dying significantly faster, which forced me to constantly run for my life, but, uh, yeah, bleh. I tried a third time to save my wife, Mrs. Sticks, but, uh, bleh. Finally, after ten whole minutes fighting this guy, we killed him, and the satisfaction I got from it was unsettling. Now, these types of encounters are what I actually love about video games. They're challenging and difficult, requiring you work together or to at least learn enemy tactics to overcome obstacles you couldn't otherwise. After felling the beast, we were welcomed back into the town. The town I actually had no idea existed where I stood before a bunch of old dudes that talked about shit I didn't care about. So, uh, yeah. Skip. This is a book. It's a nice book. It, you know, has words and pictures, lots of pictures. Then we were told to go talk to some old dude in a house somewhere. Wait, who lit that fire? <clears throat> oh god, I, did, I don't have any money. I'm just an old man, an innocent old man. Please stay back. Oh shit, you're coming closer. Think, think. Okay, he's staring at me. That's kind of disturbing, a little unnerving. Uh, oh. He's actually not half bad looking now that I think of it. Wait, no, now's not the time for that. Focus. Um, yes, my money. It's, uh, right back there. Uh, uh, please don't go sifting through that open flame. Oh gosh, that's everything I have. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Hey, nope, that's it. I'm done. Screw it. This has gotten way too weird for me. You know what? You take it. I'm peacing out of here, bye! It was at that moment that I got my first house. 
and my first slave. Actually, I had a selection of slaves to choose from, but I ended up on this little centaur girl thing. Oh, and this is my house. It's not bad, I'll admit, especially for a new adventure. I also gained a secondary class. Having gone knight at the beginning, I figured, you know what? Dark Knight would be a pretty good subclass. Why? Because then I get to play both good cop and bad cop at the same time. While smashing heads in the open world, I actually came across a fan of mine. Hey, uh, Ido, Ido. Well, uh, Wiggy, Ido said hi. Yeah, okay, she didn't care. I do though, but that is because I am awesome. And there goes my wife, Mrs. Sticks, making me seem like the bad guy. This guy, Blockade, though, man, he gets me. He knows what is up. No joke, though, my wife, Mrs. Sticks, she just looks over at me repeatedly while I sing the Beyblade opening and just slams her head into the desk. Then when she dies, she slaps me. I mean, one time she threw a controller at me with no provocation on my part whatsoever. Okay, this... This may partly be my fault. But in my defense, I was typing a response before. Ow. Okay, you know what? Her smacking me this time was definitely justified. On a more serious note, Guardians of Ember has some very beautiful vistas. I'll admit, for a game released when it was, it looks pretty damn good. Okay, so maybe I met quite a few people in game that knew who I was, and uh, <laughs> I'm not one to gloat here, but... That's always pretty cool to see, especially when they play the game because of the video you recorded. I can honestly say, though, I've played my fair share of isometric games, Path of Exile, Moo Legend, Diablo 3, Davillion, Warlord's Awakening, and even so, Guardians of Ember is a lot of fun. It has a pretty complex skill system that allows you to customize your main class and your secondary class, really making something unique. Gone are the days where cookie cutter builds are the norm. Okay, maybe not. Gone. But if you don't really care about being competitive, then you can pretty much go any route you want. I find that kind of customization freeing. Yes, I, I died here. I should have been paying more attention, honestly, but my waifu, the love of my life, my better half, yeah, she was too busy messing with her skills. So that one was on her. Now, I've yet to come across any bugs during the beta, and I've been having a ton of fun so far, as is my wife. I've enjoyed meeting everyone in game, and I look forward to seeing more of you guys there on our journey to level 20. And yes, I died there. They blocked my exit when I attempted to run, you bastards. Uh, Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more goodness like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Oh, hey.